Where are you from? I am from Franklin, Tennessee. Oh, yeah? Yep. So you're a local. You're, yeah, I am. You're yeah. a unicorn. I, uh, <laughs> yes. I, um, I moved here. Well, I, I'm kind of a local. I moved here like seven years ago mm -hmm. or something like that from Alabama. Okay. Yeah. What part of Alabama? Um, Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, so down south. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, well, I, I'm, I'm originally I, I'm from Mississippi, but I'm from the northern part of the state. So it's, oh, really? It's like d two totally different things. We're not even close. It's kind of similar, a little bit. But I mean, it's country, but no, that's it's about so it. Is. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So what brought you to Nashville? Uh, you know, I was just looking for a change. You know, mm -hmm. uh, as my family moved up to Nashville, I was like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm coming along, um, and um, it, it was a good move. That's cool. It, it was for. It was a great move, yeah. I kind of like it up here. I kind of like it up here, too. Yeah. So what uh, what's getting you into the world of data? So um, what got me in here originally, um, I started going to college in, at MTSU in, like, 2017. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, um, but I was pursuing a, a math degree. And I got pretty far into it. Um, but then I kind of realized, it's like, you know, I kind of do want to do some coding. Um, and my siblings are both software programmers. And so I just, I, oops, um, I just, I decided to switch to a double major of math and computer science. But then that was also around the time that the data science um, program came out for MTSU. And it's like, it was kind of like a really good, kind of where I want to be. And so I just, I took some online courses, um, um, I think IBM has like, they sponsor, or they have some courses on Coursera, uh -huh. and and I and I took those. That's cool. And I was like, wow, this is this is, this is amazing. Like I I, I want to do this, and so I switched to data science um, in like 2020, I think. While still at MTSU. Yep. Okay, so you know Charlie Pigian and Amy oh, yeah. Amy Harrison whatnot. That's I guess. Amy I guess Amy Harris works in a different a different area now, but they're, they're all MTSU folks and whatnot. So, so you switched in 2020, and then did you have to did you have to redo a bunch of stuff, or um, did you could you reuse a lot of your credits? So I was able to use a, a good portion of of my credits, but um, I it, it did it, it did set me back mm -hmm. probably about like a year and a half, which mm -hmm. is is less than ideal. But yeah. I, I I mean I. I was pretty satisfied with yeah. kind of how everything went down. It's a pretty big pivot, uh, like in the in the middle of getting your degree and whatnot. And so, so now you you switched to data science. You've walked down that path. Mm -hmm. Like you've graduated. Yes. And so yes. now, what's uh, what's in line for you? You know, um, I, I really want to get a job. Mm -hmm. You know, I um, I'm really craving experience. I I've done like a, a bunch of personal projects and stuff like that. And like. Yes, there's a lot of value in that, and I'm 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 glad that I did all those. Yeah. But uh, I think that there's, I, I really want experience, kind of working on a team and kind of, um, kind of working towards like a set goal, which is kind of kind of different from the personal projects I've been doing. I've, it's where it's like I've just kind of been pulling, kind of something from the internet. Yeah. Like you know oh. It's, it's, uh, uh, so what questions can I ask about this data set? And then I would do that. And, and there is, isn't really like a, an explicit like um, end goal yeah. that I, I, I can really work with the team on, you know? Yeah, so it's kind of aimless. Aimless, or, or, yeah. Uh, like ephemeral, if yes, you will, yes. when you're working on your stuff. So I, I think you're right. That experience would definitely put you in, in a track where you've got to get down to that specific spot, and then the creativity is the how you get there, not necessarily what you're pulling from it and whatnot. And so how, like, obviously, like, if you're looking for a job, the Nashville Analytics Summit seems to be, like, a good place to go. Yes. Have you been talking to folks? Yeah, I have. I, am, I have been talking to folks. I, um, I talked to... It, am I allowed to, 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 to say companies and stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I talked to uh, Asherian. Um, and oh, the Doug that just left here was with Asherian. Really? Wow. Okay. He might be a good person to talk to if you yeah. see him again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, um, I, so I talked to Asherian. I talked to, uh, to UDOT and, uh, and to CGI as well. Okay. Um, UDOT or UDIG? Sorry. 
because you did. Yeah. So uh, Meg, Meg is a, a really she's really big in the NTC. I don't know if you talked to her down there, but she's she's at the UDIG booth. Did you play Pac-Man? No, I didn't. I didn't. Are you going to play Pac-Man? Uh, I am now. Yeah. Are you any good at Pac-Man? No, I'm horrible. Okay. Well, then we're we're both on the same level then. Yeah. So as far as it, it, like you've talked to a couple of folks so far, like do you think it's a pretty good prospect so far? Oh yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. It, 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 yeah. Um, so I attended. Um, uh, 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 so Tractor Supply and UDIG did a breakout, um, and that was actually something that encouraged me to go speak with UDIG, actually, uh, because they were doing a project um, on, uh, they were using the technology in, in terms of cameras that they had for Tractor Supply and trying to um, get the conversion rate for, uh, for customers, and just uh, kind of seeing how how they were doing that and kind of how they were classifying um, things via the camera. It, yeah. It was, They're creating data. Yeah. Just fresh data that has not been able to be measured before in ways that are, you know, they're retail specific because tractor supplies, like their retail, their goal is to sell as much as possible. So they, they even have a they even have a thing where if they see somebody kind of walking around like one of those little spinny things oh, yeah. uh, without an employee coming in because they can track employee proximity, then they can get an employee over there to that person to help them kind of proactively. And that, store, that sort of store management makes more, uh, it, it makes fewer employees employees seem like more employees, if that makes yeah. sense. And so if if, uh, if I had another recommendation, it would be to also talk to Tractor Supply while you're here too, because they're actively hiring quite a few folks. Okay. So if uh, if you had any words of advice for folks out there in your position that are looking for a data job, like what would it be? Because obviously, like you you're being proactive because like it, this is for everybody out there. But I saw I, we met for the first time a couple of weeks ago now at the yeah, at the meetup yeah at the anti social social right. for yeah. data folks, and it, it worked it worked out really well. It was a really good it, it was a really good platform for you to come in and talk about like looking for a job and stuff like that. And now you're here looking for a job, so you seem like a proactive individual, which is uh, it's uh, selected for at a high rate when it comes to employees. So I would make sure that you're mentioning that when you're out there. It's like I'm, you know, I'm, I'm proactively like talking to people and all that kind of stuff. But just getting started, like maybe watch a couple of YouTube videos. Maybe maybe they're deciding whether or not they want to go this route. Like, what words of advice would you have for them? Um, be patient with yourself. Be very patient, actually. Okay. Um, because it's when I first started, I was um, having a really hard time, mm -hmm. you know. Um, and it's just I was having a hard time in in many facets of life, as as everyone does. Yeah. And so it's just if you kind of go to tackle like a a, a big goal, like um, trying to to break into like a a different industry, but especially an industry that is like pretty much brand new in, yeah. in the grand scheme of things. Mm -hmm. um, just give yourself a break yeah. and also um, take baby steps because, um, you know, there were times when I was like, man, I, I feel so overwhelmed. Um, and it was like, I don't want to do anything. But then, but then I kind of thought about it. I was like, you know, I mean, I don't have to freaking, I don't have to conquer the world today. Yeah. If I just take a baby step, mm -hmm. like it's progress, you know? Um, so yeah, just be patient with yourself, and um, hmm. I think I think being patient with yourself is is a, about as good as advice as you can have. And then the, breaking those big tasks down into small little chunks that's good for anybody anytime. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. Get, actually get to a size that you'll do something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, um, you know, like for some of my coding projects, you know, you get so overwhelmed by like, how do I do this? How do I do this? But like, this is gonna sound. Uh, kind of silly, but it's like if you just it, if you open up a Jupyter notebook and you just type something and then run it and it fails, you're like, wow, that's progress. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, that's a that's very good words of advice, and uh, I appreciate you you coming by and talking to us today. Yes, thank you very much.